Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and another painting update. Um, in my previous videos I've been mentioning how I've, I've left my late war germs behind for a little bit um, while I concentrate on finishing my uh, jungle based uh, Australian army. Um, I picked pretty much all of this up last year um, during a trip to Warlord HQ and I'm slowly getting around. I finished the, the main bulk earlier this year. Uh, I finished a thousand points. What I'm doing now is just, just, is just finishing all the bits and pieces that I didn't get around to doing at that stage. Um, and as you can see, I've been quite busy this week um, and a, a bit of last week as well. So what I thought I'd do is just run through the individual bits and pieces that I've, I've painted. Um, pictures will be on screen as I'm going through. So with no further ado, let's get onto the first unit. And it's this. It's a light mortar section. Now this came in the blister I bought and also when it had a uh, sniper uh, sniper team and a flamethrower team. Now the flamethrower team has been seconded to the uh, to the engineering section and the sniper team has been, uh, been painted a long time ago and this just left the light mortar team. It's been sat around doing nothing. Um, so I thought well, I'll put that together. Um, really really simple to paint. Um, what I like about these Australians is they, 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 they paint up really really quickly um, a lot of them are, don't have much equipment mainly just weapons uh, flesh and uniform um, and I've got the the technique that I use down so I can really fly through these uh, if, if you're interested the basic um, painting technique that I use for painting the bog standard uh, jungle based Australians is um, Russian uniform that's then uh, washed with a Thonian camo shade with highlights applied with um, Russian uniform green again, but with a dab of sunny skin tone. Whack this on, and um, khaki for the uniforms, um, sorry, khaki for the, the, the webbing, the equipment, the gaiters, um, chocolate brown for the boots, and that's pretty much it. Um, the flesh, I use Cadian flesh tone um, with two washes, one of Agrax Earth shade and one of Reitland flesh shade. This gives it a more ruddier sort of darker look um you're in the jungle it's gonna be very very hot uh, in the jungle so you're gonna you know sunburnt skin i should imagine um, that may be completely wrong but that's the way i'm going going with it anyway so this is the um this is a light mortar team like i said no time at all to finish this um it's been based in my tried and tested jungle basing method using uh, mixed herbs uh, really nice little model actually um the the figures look really well really good um, really well sculpted and yeah really happy with the way that turned out again no time at all put into it so the next section I painted was this section of three scouts now I've put off painting these for a while because I don't like painting flesh it's not it's not one of my one of my fortes um, and I'm really gonna have regretted it so I try and avoid it at all costs but with these I thought right I've got to I've got to get them done for eventually um, and again, I used the Russian uniform as the base, Cadian flesh tone as the skin, um, and just used exactly the same colours as the standard standard jungle base Australians that I've been that I've been painting. Um, the helmets have leaves on, so I use a, a few a few different kind of greens to uh, to pick up the, the leaves on the helmets. Um, but again, these didn't take too long to paint at all, um, and they're really nice sculpts. They they. They've got very, very, little, very little in the way of equipment. They're all armed with um, Owen's submachine guns. Um, one's got a vest, one's got a, a shirtless, uh, a sleeveless shirt, and the other one's got no top on at all. So really represents them being forward in the jungle on dangerous recon missions. Um, how I'll use these in game, I don't know. I'm really not sure yet. Um, it's quite a small section of three, but sure I'll come to some kind of tactical consideration uh, in, in the near future so they were done I painted them at the same time as the as the mortar section kind of a uh, a batch painting thing um, didn't take too long I think it was well about an afternoon it took to paint them um, so yeah really happy with the way they turned out up next is this now this is the the Australian militia infantry section uh, very different to the other um, the other sections in the Australian army that these guys are still they're still wearing their their khaki from when they were out in in North Africa so this this needed a different approach um, than just using my standard Russian uniform green uh, for the jungle uniform now I wanted the the, the uniform to have a, a, a kind of a washed out faded look like they've been wearing them for, for many many months before being shipped back to 
through the jungles of the, of the Pacific. Now I did contemplate using a um, khaki grey or just khaki as a base. But I thought would that be too too dark? So in the end I ended up using uh, Vallejo Buff, uh, which is kind of a slightly lighter yellowy colour. Uh, and when I put it on I was like wow I've made a massive mistake here because this looks absolutely terrible. It was stark, it was bright and as I was going through I thought this, this is just not going to work at all. Uh, but I persevered and I painted five as like a test um, a test section to see if the colours would work and it worked. Um, I used a, a heavy wash of, of, of Agrax Earthshade and this worked really well with the buff. It retained that kind of light faded look but the Agrax created really deep dark shadows. Um, I then went in just with um, buff again just to do um, the highlights and yeah um, I finally finished the, the section yesterday it's, it's all 10 done now and I really like the way they've turned out they've kind of got that ragtag look they've got um, khaki uniforms um, Greek, Russian uniform green helmets um, they've got shorts they're all ragged um, some one one dude's got a vest the other one's got like a, uh, an undershirt and it's it's turned out to be a really unique looking unit and I'm really happy with the way it's turned out um, I mentioned in the a previous video that, that these will be used for the for a, a theatre selector called Defence at Milne Bay where I'll combine them with my um, my USMC to create a sort of ragtag botched together army of um, Marines and um, Australians for, for the, the defence of Milne Bay. I regularly fight Ian's Japanese so it's, uh, it's worked out quite well. But that's where I'm at with the things that I've finished so far. It's essentially that's all that finished. Uh, what I'm doing now is I cardinal error when you come to the end of a project never ever ever go rooting around in your bits boxes because you'll just find more things to paint and that's exactly what's happened here um what i'm doing now is using some old chin dip models that i bought many years ago and never got around to using and i'm going to use these to add to the units to give them a bit more variety um, the uniform is slightly different in that they don't have um they don't have gaiters slightly more equipment and they've got beards um, but i think this this will work well in providing a bit of variety to the um, to the Australian Army, so I'm going to be working on those this afternoon. I've just had a, a nice supply of painting uh, painting essentials come through the post this morning. Uh, I was exceedingly low on Agrax Earthshade, and I was in a bit, a bit of a blind panic about that. But fully stocked up now, so a, a day of painting is in store for me today. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you've got any questions or comments about uh, about the Australians. In a, in a few videos, I've got a, I've had a few questions about how I've gone about painting them. Um, if you want me to do a video about actually painting, how, how I go about painting them individually, uh, let me know and I'll certainly get around to doing something of that nature. I think it'd be really, really helpful. Um, I really like the, the scheme that I use for my Australians. Well, that's it for this update. Uh, thanks for watching and as always, take care, may your dice roll well and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye bye for now.